And John Rensenhouse, without the beard, will be on stage as Mr. Kirby when the new theater restaurant does You Can't Take It With You this fall. The show on stage right now is Hairspray, which unlike many of the productions here, doesn't have a big name out front. Over the years, Richard Carruthers and Dennis Tennessee have found great success mixing big names like Barbara Eden, Gary Sandy, Marion Ross with some of the great acting talent we have here in town already. Another thing we have here in the Metro are fountains, lots of them. Their artistry speaks to the things we value as a city, but sometimes they can become very personal as well. On this edition of My Favorite Fountain, we head up North Oak with producer Dave Burkhart for a touching tribute at the Children's Fountain. This fountain, the Children's Fountain in Children's Fountain Park, north of Kansas City, is our favorite fountain. And the story of why uh, begins with the birth and death of our daughter, Milena, uh, who was born in July of 2013. It's a fountain about children. It's a, um, it's a beautiful little park, even though we're surrounded here by very busy streets. Even though Milena uh, was a girl, the, the sculpture that I actually most grab onto here is of the little boy. Um, who's holding his crutches in the air. And it, it really just immediately demonstrated for me um, a limitlessness, um, leaving behind all the cares of the body and being free. And, and when I see it, I, I think of her running and playing. I, I know for me, I, I think of all of the ages that we hope to, to raise her through and to, to get to watch her grow through. And the, the first sculpture seems to be the youngest, and she's just dipping her toe into the water. But, you know, at the other end, there's uh, the sculpture who's almost, you know, a, a full adult and is not looking back, is looking, looking over her shoulder a little bit, but, but mostly uh, just has her arms up. And, and all of the documentation that I've seen about the fountain refers to her as Joy, uh, which I think is, is just a wonderful touch. This park has opportunity to memorialize uh, people who passed on bricks, benches. We chose a tree. And the tree is a redbud over there with a, a plaque in her honor. It's going to be a true pleasure to, to watch it grow over the years, um, to see it change during different seasons. It's got beautiful bright pink flowers. It, it means a great deal to us for other people to be able to remember her with us. 